Hey there, Tiffany Thomas with WealthyTiffany.com and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my exit strategy for my investments. And before we dive in, make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are looking for tips and strategies on becoming financially free at a young age. Don't forget to like and share this video. And if you guys are serious about becoming financially free, if you want to start making your money work for you, make sure and check out the link below this video because that is the way I have been able to have the highest returns on my money and spend very little time doing it. Uh, so check out that link below. All right, so let's talk about my exit strategy. Uh, I was asked this question recently, so I thought I would share just um, a little basis on my exit strategy. So I have investments in the stock market and in real estate. And here is my exit strategy. And an exit strategy just means how are you going to get out of those investments when you're ready to get out of them, uh, when you're ready to exit out of them, right? Uh, so as far as the stock market goes, my exit strategy is um, kind of twofold. So I have retirement accounts. Um, I have an IRA and a Roth IRA. Um, and in those, um, I have money that I'm planning on using later on um, when I reach retirement age, if you will, um, because there's a fee if you take that money, uh, if you take that money out early. Um, I think it's before 59 and a half. Uh, so I plan on just leaving my money in those accounts um, until I reach that age. And then I can start withdrawing my money out of those accounts. Um, so I'm not, I don't have a quick exit strategy for those retirement accounts um, because I don't want to get charged any um, extra fees for taking that money out early. Uh, so I plan on just withdrawing that money when the time comes. And um, depending on how much income I'm making elsewhere, I may you know, wait for a while before I start withdrawing that, that money, uh, or I may start withdrawing it immediately, and maybe I want to put it into a different investment. Uh, I'm not really sure because that time frame is so far off, uh, but that is the plan for now. So I still have a plan in place. Uh, it kind of just depends on what my circumstances are then. Um, and then as far as my brokerage account, and this is uh, just an account I have at Ally Invest, and this money I can withdraw at any point. I don't have to wait until uh, retirement age, official retirement age. Uh, I can take this money out whenever I want to. And the way I have been um, using this money or um, keeping this money is when, so I like diversifying and I like doing the stock market and I like doing real estate. So I, I like having two different options and in investments in case you know the stock market does tank, then I still have my real estate properties. I still have rental income that's coming in from my rental properties. Uh, so I kind of like diversifying between those two. So when the stock market was up um, just a few months ago, I ended up taking some of that money out of the stock market and putting it into real estate. So that's part of my exit strategy. Uh, I wanted to figure out a good time when it would when it would be to take some of the money out of the stock account, the brokerage account that I have, and put it into real estate. Uh, because I like creating that passive income, that rental income, uh, which increases my cash flow right now. And um, I wanted to, you know, figure out when would kind of be a good time to do that. So I kind of just let my stocks sit in my account for a while. Um, they've been in there for a few years. And I decided to, to pull them out uh, just in June and purchase another real estate property. And I really just felt like this would be a good idea um, for me because the stock market was up. So I had already made a ton of money on my stocks that I had in my brokerage account, in my stock account. Uh, so I really felt like I had made a good amount in the stock market and that I could increase my cash flow right now if I was to purchase a real estate property. Uh, so that's exactly what I did. And I still have money in my brokerage account in the stock market. So. I didn't take them all, I didn't take out all of my stocks, 
I left some in there because that's part of my strategy. I still want to have that diversification, some in the stock market and some in real estate. Uh, so I will kind of just let that money grow over time. And you know, if I feel like I need to or I want to buy another real estate property, then when the stock market is high, uh, then I could pull out more money and invest that in real estate. So it kind of just depends on the where the stock market is, how my stocks are doing, and on the real estate market. Um, and that's just, I mean, that's kind of my exit strategy. So I buy stocks to buy and hold. I'm not day trading them. Um, I'm not watching them every day uh, because I, I just, that's my strategy is to buy and hold. So I buy, I buy stocks and then I just wait for them to grow over time. Uh, so I'm not worried when the stock market crashes or when it dips down because I don't need that money right away. That's, that's not part of my plan. My plan is to just let them grow over time. So I'm not going to pull out my stocks when they're super low, when I've lost money on them. Um, I'll just let them grow over time. And then with my real estate properties, um, I'm the, I have a similar strategy. So I'm buying and holding real estate properties as well. I have rental properties, so I have renter, renters in my properties. So I am creating cash flow because I'm getting passive income pretty much from my rental properties. And um, I just plan on holding those properties for the long term. And you know, the real estate market, um, it of course takes dips um, or it could crash. But I'm not concerned about that because I'm holding my properties for the long term and it always goes back up. It always does. It's just like the stock market. Even when it takes a dip, it always goes back up. And that's just like the real estate market. It will come back up. So I'm not going to sell my properties when they are super low, um, when, the, when the value has dropped. I'm just going to wait and um, sell them at a later date. And that's um, pretty much my exit strategy. Uh, so it's very, it's very simple. It's just a buy and hold for the long term strategy. And I can see when I've made money on them, so I'm not losing money by um, investing in the stock market or in real estate because I have that long term mindset. And I can just pull them out when the stock market is high or when the real estate market is high. Um, and then I can start living off that money or invest it elsewhere. Uh, so hopefully this kind of helps you guys. And um, you know you want to have an exit strategy when you are investing uh, because you don't want to constantly worry about, oh, when should I pull my money out or what am I doing? Uh, but if you have that strategy up front, then you're a lot more relaxed and calm about investing. It totally works. And hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Don't forget to like this video and share it with someone who needs to hear this information. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And honestly, you guys, if you wanna learn how to make your money work for you, don't forget to click the link right below this video because that has been the easiest way and most profitable way that I've been able to invest my money. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.